Okay. So the first thing we're talking about is digestion of food. Digestion of food is breaking breaking food down from big particles into slug up big particles into smaller particles. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, food is in your stomach. Here's your stomach. It's it's being broken down into your in your stomach. It gets into your. This is the small intestine, and around the small intestine there are loads of blood vessels. And what you need to do. So let's say this is the small intestine. When the particles are small enough, then the particles can pass into the bloodstream. So you want digested food, small food particles to pass into your bloodstream. So that's what you want to do. Digestion is the breaking up of large particles of food into small particles of food, so they will pass into your, into your bloodstream. Okay, there's two types of digestion. Digestion, there are two types. What are they? There's chemical and physical. physical. Keep looking up there, will you? Chemical and physical. Right, in your mouth. Here's your mouth with your, your, your teeth. <laughs> Funny nose. So this is, called, this is called the buccal cavity. Right, what happens in your mouth? Physical digestion is when your teeth mechanically What do they do? Grind the food. So they break it from big chunks into smaller chunks, don't they? And then underneath, underneath your tongue, here's your tongue. Underneath your tongue, there are there's glands. And what do the glands produce? Saliva. These are called. So this is the chemical digestion. They are called. Salivary glands. And the salivary glands produce, shh, look it up. Saliva. What's in that saliva? There's an enzyme. There's an enzyme and it's called amylase. That's an A S E. An enzyme called amylase. Alright, so when you put the food into your mouth, uh, the enzyme. Amylase is breaking down the starchy food. So we'll have a look at amylase, what it breaks down. Amylase breaks down starch, which is a long chain of <coughs> glucose molecules. So a really long chain. Starch is a really long chain of glucose molecules. And amylase breaks the bond here every second one. And by breaking it every second one, these are called, each one of those is called maltose. All right, so amylase is here, let's say, and it breaks there, and it eats the bond there. So what does amylase enzyme do? It breaks starch into maltose molecules. Right, where else will you find uh, amylase while we're at? It's also produced, so it's produced in the mouth, and amylase is also produced in the pancreas later on. We'll get on to that in a second. All right, so the food travels down from your mouth, there's your mouth, down a pipe called the esophagus. O E S O P H A G U S, esophagus. The esophagus has a muscular walls and the muscular walls contract pushing the food down to the stomach. There's the stomach. Right, what is the contraction of the muscular walls called? Peristalsis. Peristalsis is where the wall, the muscular walls of the esophagus have to contract, pushing the food down to the stomach. Sit up there. Sit up. Down to the stomach. What happens in the stomach then? So it's yeah. So I'll just go back to the esophagus for a second. The purpose of the esophagus is carry food from the mouth down to the stomach. 
Look up. The stomach. What does it do? The stomach churns the food. What does it do? It mixes up the food. Alright? And that helps to digest the food. Uh, and what else happens in the stomach? There's an enzyme that breaks up proteins are broken up, digested in the stomach. So proteins digested in the stomach. So they're broken up in small bits. And we've another uh, we've got in the stomach we've got hydrochloric acid. What does hydrochloric acid kill? Kills bacteria. It kills bacteria. All right. So then the food, uh, it's all acidic and it, it passes out and it's neutralized. The food travels down into the small intestine. So the small intestine, there's two, there's two big organs here. One is called the liver and then the other is called the pancreas. All right, so we have to talk about the liver and the pancreas. This is the small intestine. What happens in the small intestine? The small intestine breaks up the food even more. Looking up, Adam. Small intestine. It breaks up food. Now what else does it do? Number two, it absorbs food into the bloodstream. Food into blood. Bloodstream. <coughs> Alright, look it up. Look it up. Alright, so that's what the small intestine does. I'll just rub it to get it out of the way. Right, the pancreas. What does it produce? It produces enzymes. And the pancreas produces enzymes that further break up food. Alright, so this is the pancreas. Uh, it, break, it makes amylase, just like the mouth, amylase is made up here, it breaks up starch, doesn't it? Uh, amylase, and it breaks up starch, and it makes lipase, it breaks up fats. What does the, the liver make? Bile. And bile does the same thing, it breaks up fats as well. Boil, it breaks up fats. So we'll just go fats and an extra, it breaks up fats. Lipase over here is the enzyme produced by the pancreas. It breaks up fats. And why did it break up all these foods? So they can be absorbed into the, the bloodstream from the small intestine. Remember the bloodstream is, so it's all about absorbing food into the bloodstream. Okay. And then we move on to the large intestine. The large, small intestine is called small intestine because it's a really narrow tube. The large intestine is a big, thick tube. And what happens in the large intestine? And it goes down to the rectum. All right, so the large intestine, what does it do? It takes water from the food and puts it back into the blood. So reabsorbs water into the bloodstream. And what else does it do? The large intestine, it's the large intestine, so let's call it large intestine. The large intestine, um, uh, we need fiber, we need, what is, um, so it reabsorbs water into the blood. Uh, if there's fiber, we need fiber in the large intestine. So if you eat lots of fiber to clean out the intestine. What happens if you don't clean out your intestine? You could get cancer of the intestine. Okay. And here's the rectum here. What does the rectum do? It stores, it stores feces. Before, before you excrete it out. Now this is the anus is here. We have one other thing before you start asking questions. Uh, starch. How do, we, how do we test starch? 
So starch is like potato or bread. So if we had, a, if we had bread here, how do we prove that it's starch? What chemical do we add to it? To test for starch, here's bread. We add drops of? Add drops of iodine. Uh, what color will it turn if, if Green. it's starch? It will turn. It will turn a a black color, a dark blue, or a, we call it a blue black color. It will turn a blue black color if there's starch present. And there's one other thing. Enzymes are enzymes are catalysts. Enzymes are catalysts. Catalysts. What do catalysts do? Catalysts, number one. They speed up or slow down chemical reactions. Speed up or slow down chemical reactions. Okay.